Hi, uh, hi. Uh, Direct Class Three Operations. Um, this is one of my APID courses. Uh, the picture was not on the front cover, but it is on every corner of the slideshow, like it's supposed to be for these Army Institutional Professional Development slideshows. Subcourse QM5095 Edition A. Um, cl direct class three operations. Lesson one: Supervised election, um, supervised selection, prepare class three site critical task one hundred one five nineteen three three zero four. All right, part A: Preparation for movement. The tactical operations of patrolling section chief. You can expect to be either in the advance party, main body during a movement operation. Since the advance party does not actually on the ground site selection, the majority of this block instruction will be based on your role as a member of the advance party. A section chief, the first notice you would receiving an impound move would be a warning order from your platoon order. The warning order will probably be an oral order from the general information on the time of the date's move and information on the destination probable route. After you get a warning order, the platoon leader will probably leave the area, begin with the route route, um, begin with a route and site reconnaissance of the area assigned to him by Battalion S three. While the occurring you should be Preparing to move information needs to be passed on, uh, passed out to your select section of equipment needs to be checked. Pre um, preventive maintenance checks services need to be performed on your equipment. If you have all, if you have the time, all of your equipment needs to be laid out and checked for the serviceability before it is loaded into the vehicles. Right, when the platoon leader returns, to, uh, he should uh, have a sketch map of the um, sketch map of the platoon route um, in the site. The, my, the map of the diagram should show the route and the site, the general location where each section will set up. If impossible, the side se side should be closed. The supported units of the tactical session. Situ tactical situation permits the site should also be large enough to provide up two balanced stored sites because you do not want to put all your product in one location by splitting your storage assets you reduce the possibility of losing of your product to one accident accident or attack the site should also have an easy access road net which leads with at least one road running through the supply point, but never po been never populated, never near populated areas, these con conditions should be discussed with the platoon leader prior to leaving the in with the advance party, because you will be one making the final selection from the area all allocated to you by the platoon leader. The advance party. The platoon leader will make the personnel selection of the advance party. The advance party should consist of at least one member from each section of the company. The XO or the senior lieutenant, usually the advance party leader, your local standard operation procedures should de um, detail what equipment should um, go with the advance party, but at the very least you will want to bring some engineering type marking devices to mark off the areas you want to equip to go. Designated area. One you have identified exactly what you, where you want to op, where we want each operation to go. Designate your areas. The engineering tape and signs. When the band body arrives, you are on your you or your representative should personally escort each truck to its designated area. Part B: Planning and engineering and, and support and planning. Before you begin to move the class three or um, forward supply um, forward supply system point um, or supply point. You must develop a plan. You will need to make sure that you have all the personnel and equipment on your hand when you begin to move the supply point. Find out how much time you have to prepare your crew and equipment for the move and are some tasks that should be taken can be care of before you move. These include surveying the area to which you move, will be moving and coordinate with the engineering unit, developing a flow plan. Take an area's survey. Going over the place where the supply point will be located, to decide whether to place is entirely uh, entire supply point. Where to place the entire supply point? Choose the arrangement of the fuel forward fuel um, forward supply forward supply point says supply system point the fit the situation and terrain also decide whether you want the trucking parking bulk storage of 50,000 gallons collapsible tanks bulk reduction storage areas and other bulk equipment coordinated engineering support when you go to look over an area of the first time take the members of the engineering unit with you after you choose the site for each part of the supply point you can give this information to the engineers within this information the engineer can unit can um, prepare individual tank sites remove underbrush from bulk reduction areas Clear the truck parking areas. Build an improved road from the site through the site if one is needed. If you do not have an engineer support, uh, your units need to prepare the site before you start setting up the equipment at the new site. 
Developing a flow point. After you select the specific sites for the class 3 supplies point, develop a flow plan so that you can handle the products and containers more than is needed. The flow plan um, identifies the steps which can be eliminated, combined, and changed to make the operation more efficient. It can also show unnecessary delays handling transportation with developing the plan coordinated. Consider the location, bulk storage, pack, tr product storage, bulk reduction, and can and drum cleaning areas. Also consider the flow of traffic through the supply plant. Point. One way traffic should be permitted in the supply point, setting the area, making up the flow plan before the supply point moves to the new location. Part C, um, selection of the Class 3 supply point layout design. One of the areas has been declared safe for the use of the advanced party communication as established for the main body actual site selection beginnings. Determines the layout of the system. You should, you should use some of the factors that the commander used in making the site section, such as adequate space to provide a storage space and all trucking parking requirements for both your vehicles and your customer vehicles. Um, good road net with at least one of the road running through the um, your operations. A good road is not a trail. A good road is one that will uphold hold up the heavy traffic and will not turn into the mud trap which in the rains if, if, when it rains. Location is away from the populated area in addition above. You need to consider the wood and the following are making your selection. Use vacated forward sites, existing facilities if possible. Many times you will be able to inherit site of the previously occupied. Some other units usually they will leave behind um, many improvements such as fighting position improvement for the existing railroad network that will be able to use your, for your operations. That thing does not want to... All right, avoid low air, low areas um, so vapors do not get a chance to collect. Use reasonable, uh, reasonably level ground with no part more than three degree incline of, on um, any surface. If you set up on a large incline, your storage uh, tanks can roll when you start to fill them. Do not set uh, do not set upstream or trap troop concentration spills and accidents could pollute their water supply. Maximize use cover concealment. Often, many of the components of the class three supply point can be concealed in a wooden area along a tree line. Other components can be hardly hardened with sandbags distance between each of the storage tank 40 feet is recommended for, this for safe operation however the physical terrain features of the final site with the dictated with the actual distance between the tanks one-way traffic flow for the checkpoints at entry and exit point different spaces requirement bulk retail package operations the operation space service of the retail customers may not be the same as the for bulk customers usually you will need to large larger operating space for the bulk customers with the retail customers available other than transportation modes you should tr always try to advan take advantage of any of the rail, ro rail loading facilities barge loading po points whenever possible all right, site selection. Site reasonably level sites um, that, that can hold a container stack. Choose a site with a good draining of the drainage if the water does not damage the containers. Avoid low area. So will be both dangerous and vapors collect in them. Do not use air, an area with cinder base or marshland waste land overlaid with peat that are usually are damped. They should site there, use such areas only if there is no other site available. Be, be sure that the site has natural cover. The consumer is large enough for the future expansions. Do not locate other near the other area. Errors operation figure one one stay at least five hundred feet away from the flash products of the two hundred feet from the five flash products. Your site must be all, all away from overhead electrical lines so the broken wire will, cannot fall on the drums. Clear the site of all underbrush that may get into the way. Present a fire hazard. Spread sand, gravel, and similar materials are air over areas with where your storage containers help them drain in the area to provide more stable base on the, of this for the stock. Do not use ash cinders because of the corrosive bulb. Build the deck at least 18 inches high around each of the major storage divisions in which the low flash product are stored. The deck must be able to hold up the liquid, all liquid in the drum stored in the area, and have free board of the at least six inches. Choose the site of at least two clearing incoming outcoming air, outgoing areas. This will lead you to segregate incoming outgoing mix and loads, railroad cars, and truck loads. Each should have its own site. This site should be located next to um, other so that the same personnel can operate both areas. All right, this is figure 1-1, one, one, your ideal state. And um, a site low with the vapors collect. Um, no cover or concealment with the enemy will see you. And site too close to population if the city's bomb supply point will maybe hit. 
Selection criteria of equipment. You must be able to select the site for the, either the equipment of the Class 3 supply point. The equipment includes 20,000 gallons collapsible in tanks, the 50,000 gallon collapsible tanks, 500 gallons collapsible tanks. The site you choose for 20,000 gallons collapsible tanks should be similar to the, that of the 10,000 gallon collapsible tank. Choose a site that is nearly level with the general slope toward the manifold at the end of the tank of the spade. If the tank's above the 150 part, Feet apart, build a firewall around each tank, make, sure, make it large enough to hold the contents of the tank and one foot off the freeboard. To do this, build the firewall four feet high, 18 inches wide at the top, and uh, make the inside dimensions of the firewall 35 feet long by 31 feet wide. Maintaining a distance of four feet over the edge of the tank to the base of the firewall. If an engineer unit prepares the site, you must ensure they follow the design factors. Place the discharge pumps at the lower level than the tanks to aid the pump suction. Choose a site for the 50,000 gallon collapsible tanks that are similar to those of the 10,000 and 20,000 gallon collapsible tanks. Build the firewall four feet high, 18 inches wide at the top. Make sure it makes the dimension of the firewall 73 feet long by 33 feet wide. Place the discharge pumps at a level lower than the tanks to aid the pump suction. For 500 gallon collapsible drums, select a firm level site near the source of supply and select the site allows the drums to be easily lined up for filling and rolled away areas after filling. Lesson 2, Supervising the Movement of Fuel System Supply Point. Critical Task 101, 519, Supervising the Movement of Fuel System Supply Point. Part A, planning of the movement of the fuel system supply point. The fuel system supply point is used in the distribution points provided with the storage facilities and the transfer bulk um, fuel from one means of the trans transport to another dispensing facility for the bulk reduction delivery of the fuel to the using vehicles. The fuel system supply point can receive the product with the tanker trucks, the railway cars, pipelines, tow lines, aircraft. Since it can also receive the fuel from the ocean tankers, it is collapsible and capable of support beaching operations. It can store up to 60,000 60, gallons of bulk petroleum. It can store even more than more if the additional larger collapsible tanks are added. However, this expansion requires additional hoses, fittings, and valves. The fuel system supply point can easily be moved from one location to another. It can be divided into half and handled two different types of fuels with two different locations. It can also be changed to a 10-point rapid refueling system for a rotary aircraft. The first step of the moving of the fuel system supply point is to receive the, um, receive the mission. Normally, a section chief will receive the mission of the platoon sergeant, even the platoon leader. Um, the mission can come into one of the three different ways of weighing, or, weighing warning order, the operation order with fragmented order one received that there are some questions you need to ask yourself what is the mission what do you know about the enemy how will the train affect the operation what troops are available how much time is available what supplies equipment are needed and what special tasks need to be assigned personnel make sure all the personnel on hand or, or forward to move the to the new side the usual strength level of the supply section most petroleum supply company consists of a section ch chief e7 petroleum heavy vehicle operator e5 petroleum inventory control e5 and two petroleum heavy vehicle operators E4 and five petroleum supply specials E4 and ten petroleum supply specials E3. In some situations, you will have an augmented personnel. Equipment. Make sure your class three um, supply pipe point and equipment is on hand, ready for use. If any of the items are not working properly, try to have them repaired, replaced, and before you move, the equipment may vary in according from the, to the situation. One fuel system supply point, one collapsible fabric tank repair kit, three five 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 hundred gallon collapsible drums. Three pressure controls for filling the non-vented drums. One 500-gallon collapsible drum, drum tie-down nut down kit, one 500-gallon collapsible towing lifting yoke, six 550,000-gallon collapsible tanks, four 20,000-gallon collapsible tanks, four 10,000-gallon collapsible tanks, ten 350-gallon per minute pump um, assemblies, one fuel handling hose line out fit assault hose line, one electrical floodlight, one gas energy engine engine generator, three kilowatts, eight filter separators, one fair system. Make sure you have necessary vehicles needed to transport the equipment to the new site for the semi trailer stake of the twelve ton with the equipment for four tractor trailers, five ton six by six long by waist bit way bit wheelbase for the with equipment, two cargo trucks, five ton six by six long wheelbase with equipment, two cargo trucks, one and a half ton two wheel with equipment. Loading next to you, you must develop a loading and plan and tent to plan, issuing a warning order to give the soldiers to prepare them for the mission, determine the total numbers, type of the fuels of the transport needed to move the done direct and product on 
on hand, determine the type of the number of the transporters needed to move the system, determine the type of the number of the transporters needed to move the personnel. Um, this shows the vehicle loading car, um, the fuel formula, uh, the cut, um, vehicle loaded car. This is the shipment unit packing list and load diagram, DA form 574, 5745R, March 89. Your plan for loading personnel equipment should apply to every type of the transport that may be used in a movement. The plan, make the plan before the move allow the time for the packing. Base your plan on the type of the transport used with the number of the persons involved with the type, the size, weight, and quantity and supplies equipment to be moved. When preparing the plan, consider the priority of loading and the safety equipment of the supplies in transit. Design the plan to permit the quickly order. Once the equipment is loaded, make sure they're properly secured and make sure the pumps are blocked, braced, and tied. Before you complete your plan, you need to have an idea where you operate, what, it's, what terrain looks like. Consult with the last, latest intelligence map of impossible conduct, reconnaissance, walk around the area. Then this will give you an idea about the time and the type of the terrain in which you will be working. Information for the reconnaissance can either be changed or delay the mission. Once you complete your plan, issue the operation order. When you complete the operation, issue your order orally. When you possibly issue the order from the location where your soldiers can see the air object, they cannot be done. The terrain module or or, uh, or sketch you wish it when you issue the complete order make sure that the soldiers you understand it make sure they know how to accomplish the mission and how they fit the overall plan explain to them what to do if they lose communication make sure you give the order or language they understand final step of the troop leading procedure is supervision after issuing the warning order you must diligently constantly check details conduct back briefings rehearsals and before operation begins inspection um, troop leading and procedures have helped prepare to your soldiers if any of the type of operational logical steps to set procedures use it as a mental checklist to make sure you do not overlook anything important. Keep in mind that no single individual can do everything by himself or herself, not even you. Your, use your subordinates, get your job done right. Communication status report. The unit of the status produces the information to help the Army manage its resources. The payoff of the military readiness the Army wants the company to have and authorized personnel on board. It is authorized equipment available available in working order is required supplies on hand. Additional Army wants to, the company to do what it's supposed to do, turn the order out the um, soldiers who assist the unit mission. Patrolling supply sergeant assist the platoon sergeant supervising two shift operations are maintained close coordinated with the patrolling operations sergeant every 24 hours of status report data. The supply sections will consolidate with the report will be sent with the supply control section. The format and the status report should be detailed in both company and battalion standard operation procedures. Part B, selecting the site for the Class 3 supply point and the fuel system supply point operation critical um, selection for the critical fuel system supply point when you select the fuel system supply point consider cover concealment road net dispersion factors terrain site of preparation requirements make sure the site is suitable for fuel system layout of the figure 2324 and table 21 select the site of the collapsible tank pumps and filter separators that would um, that this that is in woods or in a tree line with a natural shadow disguise of tail tape shapes use camouflage nets if you have them when you have lay hose line make sure the natural terrain can contours vegetation to break up straight lines. One way to do this is to cut branches, stick them in each around the hose and the way of them down with a hose line. Um, whether you or have deep grass or other vegetation, bend it over the hose line to hide the hose and so that it is not seen from the air. Seen from the air, um, choosing for the for either receiving the truck bottom of the vehicle on um, few refueling points that is next to the road in the Class 3 supply point. You can load and unload trucks of refuel vehicles without leaving the road nets and supply system. You must consider the distance between the items when you select the site, but the equipment of the fuel system supply point distance can vary for the terrain, natural cover, concealment, hose availability of the road nets. However, you must uh, put a 10,000 gallon collapsible tanks over at least 40 feet apart. Special um, select the level train for the fuel system supply point. Look for the tank site without a slope, a large slope may be caused by the filled tank. The filled tanks to roll sideways, backward, forward, put the pumps and filter sub raiders on level ground. Try to place the discharge pump at the lower level of the collapsible tanks so that there will be good suction to the pump. Deal with the three major items equipment of the fuel system supply point collapsible tanks of the pump and the filter separators. Slope the, the tanks slightly gently toward the manifold to help them drain tanks whenever they are removed. Slope the site with from each of the tank no more than three to six inches of the direction of the tank's filter port 
or fill port and build a firewall around each tank, make it large enough to hold their contents for the tank. One foot of free board to do this for the build. The firewall three foot high and 18 inches wide at the top. Make sure the inside of the dimension of the firewall is 26 feet by 26 feet, maintaining a distance of three feet from the edge of the tank to the base of the firewall. If an engineer unit prepares the site, you must ensure that the following dimensional and procedure specifications of the pump and filter separator um, sites must be cleared from any of the dry glass and leaves and trash. Alright, um, the U arrangement gives the collapsible tanks on the side with the top starting from the receiving point of the receiving pump to the filter separations into the collapsible points and then from the, to the delivery point with the fuel system separators to the bottom loading points, 500 collapsible drum, um, drum, drum filling points and nozzles. The rectangular ang uh, um, arrangement has the rectangular um, ang re arrangement. Um, receiving point, the receiving pump filter separator goes in a square and then to the delivery point fills the separate bottom loading points 500 gram collapsible drums filling points and nozzles um, there also is a uh, semicircular arrangement where the collapsible tanks are stuck in a semicircle and they go from the delivery pump to the fuel se system separators to um, one side of the receiving pump to the other side of the receiving point while the deliver also the filter separator goes to the receiving pump and then the nozzle 500 gallon collapsible drum filling points bottom loading points the v arrangement shows the collapsible tanks in a v arrangement from the receiving point receiving pump filter separators collapsible tanks to the delivery pump to the filter separator to the nozzles 500 gallon collapsible drum filling points and bottom loading points All right, your 5,000-gallon tankers um, shows the tanks on the left, um, and it shows the different qu um, the key. You see the quick action key valve, the gate valve filter separator, hose assembly, Y assembly, T assembly, reducers, pump plug, and cap and nozzle. The 5,000-gallon tankers are on the left, and they go through a suction discharge on the hose, and then through two different Ys, different T assemblies. All right, your uh, description of tank listing, um, your 10,000 gallon uh, description of all the uh, assemble, the kits. The GPS navigation, each site satellite transmits a new signal that contains the data needed of the, um, the LS, SLR, G, SLGR. To mean your location signal cannot, cannot penetrate objects of the building, which metal in the mountains or the very thick vegetation. Your body tends to block it, cloud, cloud, body tends to block it. Cloud, rain, snow, every, even severe weather have little effect on the canvas, Kevlar coat, whereas do not affect either, um, if you're receiving signals from the ETH, enough, satel enough satellites, the SLGR will tell you this. Move to a more open position away from the building's steep slopes so that the antenna can receive the signals. Since the satellites are always moving, sometimes the short wait is needed until the three or four satellites have moved into the view of the receiver. Go to the setup units page to set the elevation of the MSL, DEG, and MAG. Set up the satisfaction of the MAG, VAR page of the CALC and DEG. Set the time, perform the setup I and I slash O. Required set the auto, auto mark mode to the off, set the bullseye screen. Required and, and set the operator if required, set the approach if required, set the reversal if required. Initialize the unit option, tame the position, record the estimated position, error time, time, error, data time. Date and day and date and day speed day, satellite being tracked datum magnetic variation if required for the zoom in the range for the, to the bullseye enter the store waypoint state the negotiation navigation mode to the 2D fastest direction select the waypoints record distance track a zoom a zoom of the way to the point navigate to a waypoint. Part C, supervising movement of the fuel system supply point. The next task is direct to the pre preparation of the fuel system supply point equipment for the transportation. Make the system drain all the product ensure that the spill are cleaned up and reported as required in unit to policy procedure applicable environmental laws. Dispose of the contaminated fuel materials in an environmental safe way in accordance with the unit policy procedures applicable environmental laws. Direct personnel to roll and fold the collapsible tanks. Pull them into the storage containers. Attach the claps and cla caps and plugs to the hose assemblies as they are dismantled. Make sure your equipment is properly loaded and components are correctly placed, blocked, braced, and needed to prevent damage during the transport. 
Movement methods. Moving and displacement of the supply point consists of two ways. Taking it down at once and loading it into transporters. Moving it to a new side. Two ways that you can do this is one way that depends on your situation. One way is to move the entire supply point to a new side. The other way is to move the leap, move by leapfrogging. This means one half of the fuel system supply point to a new site, leaving the other half at the old site to give limited service. If this way, the support to the users, if not interrupted during the move. Dividing the system in half, the first thing you want to do move is transfer the product and the supply point to fuel transfer. Remember to tell the drivers of the vehicles how to get the new site or to meet the remote and meet the points where they can exchange the trailers and transfer the load to other tanker vehicles. You can also use the load transporter as a store issue product with a temporary basis on an old new supply point. You can start taking down the supply point just as soon as the move for the fuel sequence in which you tank down the equipment should be based on the equipment of the old and new sites. Usually dismantle the fuel system supply point first unless you are using a leapfrog method. Uh, in case of important that you will work quickly and once an order is given, you may be concerned to gain the new site position, new site as soon as possible to get set up. Bulk reduction storage area. Set up in the bulk reduction storage area. Separate storage stocking area with each of the products and type of the pocket package. If you have an area with each of the for each of your inventory, control of the stock more easily. You can now easily be identified with the product and correctly. The blocking system separates the large amount of storage supplies so that the entire stack of the one product is not lost. And is if there is enemy attack or a fire, the plan is exactly out. Save size and stacking areas according to local conditions, safety requirements. The axles between double um, rows of the drums. You Usually 9 10 to 10 feet wa wide. You can reduce the width of 4 feet with the leaves. Enough room to handle the product. Allow 15 to 30 feet with the axles between sections of containers. 15 to 100 feet between the blocks. A specific layout of the stair. In an area to 50 gallon cans is suggested. Part D, environmental considerations, supply storage, and facilities are often containing the hazardous material. You must take the precautions storing and transporting these materials. Keep a copy of applicable material safety data sheets for the hazardous material on hand by the binder in the storage area. You can support the insulation environmental goals and supply areas doing the following compliance with the store materials according to the manufacturer's guidelines as stated in the material safety data sheets. Prevention and reduce the amount of solid waste and the hazardous waste in the supply room, avoiding the stockpile and keeping the items around just in case they are needed. And reuse the containers whenever possible. Recycle materials as required by your insulation recycling program. Conservation dispose of all the solid waste and houses waste according to local policy. Lesson three: Supervising operation of the fuel, of the fuel system supply point. Critical task 101-519-3304. Part A, supervising the operation fuel system supply point flow through the fuel system supply point. If the fuel is, when it arrives, the product will enter the system through the receiving manifold. It usually moves under suction from one of the 350-gallon pumps used with the receiving pump. The product may also use under the positive pressure for the use of the transport or pipeline hose line. And when the both the filters separate is installed with the delivery side of the system, the receiving pump distributes the product directly to the tanks through the hose line manifold with the other 350-gallon pump. Um is used to draw the fuel into from the tanks to discharge it through the 250 separate filter separate two through two filter separators in the hose head of the system when the one left fil one filter separator is installed with the receiving side of the system the receiving pump distributes the product receiving filter separator to the collapsible tanks after the flow of the product is same exempt the fuel system drained through the one filter separator on the discharge side of the system including instead of the two you can also draw the supply system directly to the discharge side of the system this product reaches bypass of the storage tanks, you need only you need only one pump and one filter separator for this operation. Flow um, flow through the 50,000 gallon collapsible tank. The first step of the inspection product of the fuel is that enters from the transport through the receiving manifold made with the suck of a suction hose and gate involved. The product usually made under the suction of a 350 gallon pump um, pumping assembly that distributes into the 50,000 gallon collapsible tank. Another 350 gallon pump assembly acts as a discharge pump, distributes the fuel to from the tank. To the discharge hose assembly, the discharge hose assembly consists of the gate valve of the discharge hose from the discharge hose assembly. The product moves into the transport, figure 3-1. Receipt, inspection, take a sample, receive manifold hose, 350-gallon pump hose, 150-gallon hose tank, 50, uh, hose 350-gallon pump assembly, hose discharge issue into the key transportation operations stored inspection. Personnel. How you use the personnel in one of the most important parts of the managing class 
three points. In other words, how many do you need to have a specific operation? Where should you place them? In relation to the equipment, what tasks could be given to do? Is it important that you assign the specific tasks and the personnel to the class three supply point, which should be also try to flexible best way to use it? Of all personnel, wisely is let to the job determine the assignment. For example, if you have no issues scheduled for the fuel system supply point, you can use the workers assigned there to improve the fire walls around the collapsible tanks. There may be a time when the supply point or section of it is not busy. You may then use a walker to improve the camouflage concealment of the area, improve the drainage ditches, roads, ways, make sure the safety equipment is in service is serviceable to operate the organizational maintenance of the equipment of the supply point, and the number of the persons your assignment to specific tag may vary greatly with your mission is still able to obtain the average number of each operation. The fuel system supply point operation. For the single ship, you need eight workers to operate the fuel system supply point efficiently and place them in certain strategic points of the operation described below. Receiving side, assign two workers to the receiving manifold, make them responsible for transferring the bulk petroleum from the transporter to the fuel system. The operators of all valves at the receiving point make all necessary hose connections, pump the valves. All three workers of the pump, the control valves, have one work operator, one work operator, each in a pump, and then one third worker control the valve of the discharge, receiving the mo- and fold of the collapsible tank. One of the pumps has started. They may be monitored. One worker then enables the two workers to devote their full time to valve control fuel fill fuel flow problems. Dispense aside, assign three workers to the delivery side of the system. Six five gallon can and and fifty five gallon drum filling points to two thousand two five hundred gallon collapsible drum filling points. Make them responsible for dispensing petroleum and the controlling flow. The pre- prepare the various filling points operating with the control valve, making sure all necessary hose connections when the tank vehicles are is filled but have the trunk driver help dispense the fuel. 50 gallon collapsible tank operation for the single shift you need to um, four workers to operate the 50,000 gallon collapsible tank. You generally have one 50,000 gallon ta- collapsible tank, two 52, 350 gallon um, pumping assemblies, one receivable, one discharge pump, one dispensing line, one um, in the class 3 supply point. You have 50,000 gallon collapsible tank, mainly the large volume distribution of bulk patrol in place. The workers as follows place one work with the receiving point. Make sure the workers are sw- responsible to truck and transferring bulk patrol in from the transport of the tank. How the work operated with the valve. Make all necessary hose connections. Place one work at each of the two 350 gallon pump assemblies. Make each work responsible for coordinating the flow of the petroleum. Place one work on the dispensing line. Make sure the work is responsible. Issue work petroleum to control the flow of fuel, fuel flow in the dispensing line. The 500 collapsible drum filling operation. You need one, uh, only two workers to do this job efficiently. However, there are several methods of filling of the 500 collapsible drums. Two of the most commonly used methods of filling the drums directly through the fuel system supply point to the 50 gallon pump. But, um, Pump, 50 gallon pump pumping assembly. The position and tasking of the crew vary from the, each of these methods. With the drum filled with the directly to fuel system supply point, assigned to one of the workers to control the valve at the filling point. Make sure make this work responsible for controlling the flow fuel of the um, flow of the petroleum to the drums. Assigning the other workers to the drums, making sure we're the work responsible for preparing the drums for the filling, making all the connections, monitoring the filling operation using a 50 gallon pump assembly used and the still needed the work. Two workers at the filling operation having one worker operate the 50 gallon pump assembly and the control. Low. Petroleum is signing other drums with the same responsibility as the methods described below or before the um, both methods you need the vehicle to remove the filled drums to the bulk reduction storage area are the 55 gallon drum filling operations although usually usually to fill three um, fill, usually fill the 55 gallon drums directly to fuel system supply point you can use a 50 gallon pump in the assembly with the hose and fitting kit with the when you use the fit, six fuel land oil surface nozzles on the fuel system supply point you need one worker to each of the nozzles you can also need workers bring the empty drum to the filling point two workers to remove the fill drums to the bulk, bulk air reduction storage make six workers at the surface nozzle responsible for the bonding of the nozzle container filling drums to the proper level. If you have a forklift, use it to move the filled drums to the storage area. The five gallon can filling operation. The two methods of filling the five cans you can use the fuel oil service nozzling in the fuel system supply or the 50 gallon pumping assembly with the hose and the fitting kit. The number of the workers you need to fill these cans varies for the methods used when you cans are filled directly to the, from the fuel system supply point operation. Essentially the same as a 55 gallon drum. When you cans are refilled with using the 50 gallon pumping assembly with the hose fitting kit, you need seven workers. Um, because the method is usually conducted near the bulk, bulk reduction storage area, you need only one worker to 
bring the empty cans, one to remove the pills, and ones. And also, I have one worker operate the 50 gallon pump, assembling, controlling the flow operation, placing one worker into each four to dispense the nozzles of the hose fitting kits, and have them bond them bond the nozzles to the cans and fit them properly uh, to their proper level. Receipt. Before the product arrives, you should be notified of the type of the amount of the product, approximately date and time that it will arrive. They will give you the time and the prep, prep, prepare for the delivery schedule to avoid delays. Interpreta interpretations. Class 3 supply point. Um, storage area. Tactical class 3 supply point. You should always um, store the bulk petroleum in collapsible tanks. If you have supply action petroleum um, supply company, you can store 4,200 4, bale. 4,000. 40, 400, 420,000 gallons of bulk petroleum, one, 120 gallons in the fuel system supply point, 300,000 gallons in a si and the six 5,000 gallon collapsible tanks. But storage is much more than pu putting bulk product in a tank. It involves such things as inspection product circulation, tank repair, even the disposal excess product. Storage bulk petroleum can be uh, dangerous as it receives issues also. Oh, so always flow pr pr procedures. Inspections are the key finding of that, uh, how well the Class 3 supply point is in performing the give you the first um, first hand information on how the equipment of the products are maintained with the day to day inspection, letting you make on the spot corrections. I give you the information on the availability required publications required uh, accuracy of supply records, procedure supply economy economy practices, care of the tools and equipment, status of the authorized stock levels of equipment and repair parts. Product consolidation and circulation. When the consolidation and circulated product, you simplify more, move it into one storage tank at the supply point to another. You should consolidate your stock and then several storage tanks are filled with the product of several area empty. This way you can reduce the receive issue larger quantities of the bulk petroleum. Short notice, you can also cut down on the number of the tank switches you have them make. During the receipt issue, circulate, circulate the stock and if your supply point so that the heavier portion of the product do not settle at the bottom of the tank of the light ends do not come to the top and also circulation ensures the good mi mixture of all the additives in the fuel disposable excess if you're in the conos or in overseas activity you have an excess bolts or package and fuels of 500 gallons more than the per product grade return report excess sending the message to the commander of usapc including the message of the quantity type of the product and nsn and the latest laboratory test results if you have any overseas command if you are in overseas command also report the excessive appropriate department defensive fuels to supply center field um Field Officer JPO. Issue considerization. Issue of the bulk petroleum is perhaps the most important responsibility you have with the Class 3 point supply point. The reason you are filled with this is to get large quantities of the petroleum with the unit support in the theater operation. You issue the liquid petroleum in bulk for as forward tactical situation permit. Usually the units of the support pick up the bulk petroleum for the supply point in their own vehicles. When you have the, when you use the fuel system supply point, make the bulk issue from the bottom of the loading points but before issuing the bulk petroleum from the, your Class 3 supply point before, the, um, before the, any transporters arrive, you must prepare an issue schedule. Start telling your customer how much and what type of the product you have on hand what, and when he can pick it up and if the transporters deliver the product and the customer or when it will arrive at the supply point to try to avoid delays and interpretations when you are scheduling issues that is does not and schedule transporters to arrive at the supply point then can, can handle it at one time. And also ensure that you have enough product to, to one hand on hand to fill as, as all scheduled issues. Safety and security items. Once you have the supply point set up, you must step in to make you must make steps to make sure it is secure and safe and secure. Set the, up the checkpoints at the entrance and one exit of the, of the operating area. Give personnel coming into the area safety briefing on the entrance checkpoint. Use the checkpoints not only in, to control the vehicles going in and out, but also to account the receipt issues and patrolling for the supply point. Develop a fire point. You must also set up a different type of the signs for the area operation places, stock locator signs, patrolling storage areas, including bulk reduction storage sites. To place the signs identifying no smoking areas, dangerous areas throughout the supply point. You must also speed up these. You must also set up a speed control and traffic direction signs. Part B, Defense Plan, a Rear Area Protection, or RAP. The Rear Area Protection operation is defined in all actions taken with preventing, neutralizing, and localized enemy threats to the unit's activities and installations in the rear area includes, the in, includes areas damage control, ADC, and the prevention control measures which are taken before, during, and after a, a attack natural disaster to prevent, minimize its effect. Um, together, these actions represent and add dimensions to the Responsibility Theater Area Command, or TAACOM, 
Corp Support Command Com, Coscom Division Support Command, Divi Discom Commanders. Thus, the combat so these service support units must have diverted with the temporary of the primary mission to the rear area of the protection task of this local service ba security base, defense, and firefighting, decontamination, emergency medical treatment, the traffic control, the commander responsibility, repair air, rear air protection, and operations determine the manner and the extent to which these units divert. The theater area, the command overall responsibility of the repair, rear area um, protection within the comms E, and the corps, the department, of, uh, the deputy, of the command, commander, and the rear air protection officers direct the rear air battle to assist the individuals defining their assigning the rear air protection responsibility, rear area operations containing. Um, rear Area Operation Centers, RAOC, assigned to the East of the TACCOM Support Group, the Corps Air Rear Area Operation Center mission to plan, coordinate, advise, material, monitor, and assist directing the execution of the Rear Area Battle. Patrolling units interface with the Rear Area Operation Center. Phase of the Rear Area Protection may be divided into two phases, the Preparation Phase and the Operation Phase. The Preparation Phase includes the preventive ready, readiness of measures that are taken before the enemy op attack. The operations range with the initial planning of the actual reconnaissance, surveillance, counterintelligence operations. Make sure that they taken during the phase of the end, establishing local security elements, organizing equipment training and out units specifically designed for these missions, assigning errors, responsibly established communications, warning systems, standard operation procedures, written, rehearsed, routing, patrolling, and convoy escorting are carried out. The operation phase includes the measure taken during and after the, an attack of a natural disaster. The action beginning with the incident occurs includes the unit sending a report to the commander concerning the nature and extent of the damage. The reports allow the necessary estimates order the establishing route clearance of the redirecting supply flow. These interpretations support the combat force reduce the combat force receive the data in time to change the priority tactical plans if needed by the fire prevention fighting actions are conducted salvage and search recovery operations beginning in order to traffic and personal movement controls are established if necessary the nuclear biological chemical decamination has begun and emergency supplies are distributed and communications are reestablished. Petroleum group the extent to which the petroleum group becomes involved with the rear air protection prescribed by the higher authority of the group of the unit is standing they're ready to participate in these operations directed with the consequently the group security officers stay in the close contact with the rear, rear, rear area operation center the group of the security officers um, supervise the development of the petroleum group rear area protection plans procedures to secure directments and implement the plans and procedures subordinate elements protection of petroleum supplies particular measures for the petroleum supplies include special packaging proper storage to dispersing supplies Installation protection against chemical contamination, nuclear fallout, maximum use of natural or artificial protective shelters, other shielding devices, the A and H advantage of taking the natural cover of the camouflage for the pipelines located above the ground. Underground pipelines are used whenever possible. Embarkments underground storage facilities can even be effectively used to reduce the blast damage and dispensation of package supplies limits and keeps them under the control fires. To start the result of the nuclear explosion, cares must be taken the combustible materials to minimum around the petroleum supply installation. Demolition. Demolition is command responsible. It is performed only at the last resort, only to prevent supplies and equipment from falling into the enemy's hands, except the emergency demolition it is performed only on orders from the higher headquarters, unless otherwise specified with petroleum sacks are destroyed by burning. Part C, environmental considerations, supply storage facilities, and uh, the other has been material you must take precautions storing the transportation of the materials to keep the copy of the applicable material safety data sheets from each of the hazmat on hand in a binder of the storage area. You can support the installation environmental goals and supplying areas during the following compliance storage materials according to the manufacturer guidelines as stated in the mil military um, material safety data sheets. Prevention reducing the amount of solid waste and hazardous waste in the supply room by avoiding stockpiling. Keeping items around just in case they are needed with reuse of the container whenever possible. Recycle. Make sure materials required for the installation recycle program. Conservation. Dispose all solid waste hazards with material as waste according to local policy. Part D. Um, preventive maintenance checks this s services. Emergency tank repair. If there are any of the collapsible tank, develop a leak and repair them at once. Emergency repair items. Figure 3 2 and 3 3. These two methods of repair one is sealing plugs and the one uses sealing clamps. The use of the depends on the size of the rupture using a ceiling plug if the hole of the tank of the 3 eighths of an inch or smaller use a ceiling clamp if the hole is larger than 3 eighths of an inch whenever the method is used ensure that you bolt, put bolt rubber gloves in protective hood before starting the repairing operation 
It shows your Type 1 rotary cool kit, wooden plugs, pliers, seal pl ceiling plugs, and canvas pouch for holes not greater than 3 eighths of an inch. Type 2 repair kit, container, ceiling plugs, protective hood, wood plugs, ceiling clamps, knife for holes greater than 3 eighths of an inch for the tears of up to 7 eighths of 7 inches. Using plugs, it shows how to plug the uh, plugs using clamps. Formers. Forms. During operation, the fuel system supply point operation maintenance is performed on the pump filter separator related to the equipment. Forms are prepared to schedule inspection, preventive maintenance, and are recorded to res result in the inspection of the needs of repair. They also use the report preventive maintenance performed to mill. The repairs made and request services to support maintenance and additional forms are used to keep the track of the equipment is in the use of the service and provided with data reports on the condition and status of equipment. The DOD Form 314 um, Preventive Maintenance Schedule Record is used to show the equipment and schedule preventive periodic ma preventive maintenance when maintenance has been performed. The DA Form 2404 Equipment and Maintenance Inspection Worksheet is used to report the faults and malfunctions discovered on the equipment. Operator of the DA Form 2407 the Maintenance Request is used through organizational maintenance personnel mainly to request the support maintenance. The DA Form 2409 Equipment Maintenance Log Consolidated is used to keep the complete maintenance history on one piece of equipment. The DA Form 4177 Utilities Inspection Service Record record is usually scheduled inspection preventive maintenance on a fixed utility or structure such as a storage tank. Lesson 4, direct our assault hose line operation critical task 101 519 Assault, introduction, the assault line hose line intended to use of the temporary pipeline can transport fuels maximum rate of 500 to 550 barrels per hour across 10 miles of flat terrain and the use of the assault hose line of the transportation bulk petroleum has um, become the increasingly important as expedient means of providing adequate quantities of bulk petroleum in the short as time possible of the petroleum in the shortest time. Um, part A, the assault hose line system, the front of the field manual 1067 Concepts of equipment operations, uh, concepts and equipment of petroleum operations. Chapter 27 illustrates more detailed description of the assault hose line equipment. Six soldiers following the equipment are needed to lay out the assembly of the hose line. 13 flacking boxes, 4 inches lightweight collapsible rubber hoses is packed in a flacking box within 1,000 feet of the, of the box. You want 350 gallon per minute of the pumping assembly with the 350 gallon per minute pump that is equipped with the pressure regulator that controls the idle pump with the adjustment of the pressure if significant to increase the pressure in the hose line. A flow control kit consists of uh, two four inch gateways, one four inch, two T's, two check valves, um, two four inch hose assemblies, one strainer assembly, one roll of electrician tape, couplings, nipples, and adapters, and coupling halves. Two steel roadway crossing guards. Roadway crossing guards must be installed with the protect the hose line when it across the roadway. The hose suspension. Suspension kit, the hose line suspension kit consists of 350 feet of wire rope, 350 manila rope with a 25 wire rope um, clip, 60 shackles, 60 hose saddles, 14 steel pickets, 14 steel blocks, 14 turn, four turnbuckles, and four wire rope thimbles. The hose line displacement evacuation kit, the hose line displacement evacuation kits consist of a ball and jinker ball receiver, displacement ball with an air inductor, and eight group couplings, and 16 pipe caps. A hose line packing kit. The hose line packing kit consists of the chain hoist, a hose foot and puller, two hose clamps, a metal storage chest. The hose repair kit. The repair kit contains tools, materials needed to repair the hose line system. Part B: Safety environmental considerations. Prior to the safety operation, safety at the start of the mission. Prior to the start of the mission, the troops must be prepared. If on the safety environmental hazards they may encounter, the briefing should include the proper response to such hazards, other than information which will enable to correctly address the less serious infractions independently. Each mission comes a different situation on interactions so it's needed to develop a mission specific briefing for each of therefore no solutions can be will be presented in this lesson that your if your experience does afford you on if your if your experience does not afford you on a, a basis for prep preparing briefing and supervisors supervisor should be contacted before additional information Part C, supervising layout and assembly of the testing of the assault hose line. Check the route, select the direct route for the free of the obstacles. If the possible, try to par parallel to existing the road to the aid con um, construction operation security route. Parallel to the second and all-weather road is better for the heavy travel main supply route. And take advantage of the natural cover of the such as the fence line woods. Woods, um, head road, head, edge rows, however, they do not disturb the natural cover of the grading level and try to avoid rocky areas where there might be damage to the hose. If possible, distribute the hose at the spe speed of up to 35 miles per hour. However, the recommended practice is 20 miles an hour. The hose distributed men spread out along the route at least two, two each one half mile 
Cormel. A walk line straight out of the desirable kinks and bends and remove the small obstruction which might cause the damage with the hose pressurized and distributed on a roadway. Hose must be picked up with the roadway itself and moved into position of road ditch figure war one. The hose coupling shows the hose line dropping out the flaking boxes. Um, cross stream with the several ways you can lay a, a hose line across the stream or water course. There's the bridge suspended with the hose line and provides brackets. Outside of the bridge railing, there is no bridge. You may use the hose line directly in the stream. Stream if it is narrow and not adapt to flood. Use the hose line suspension kit to keep across the wide stream. The fabric saddles with the eyes and easy wire attachments come with a quick crossing gap. So you should also use the hose line suspension kit to Span small gaps with a steep side for wide crossing, building a suspension bridge for the flat deck for the floor to hold the hose. Eliminates the sag of the curves with the suspension kit is used. Crossing roads across the highway of the railroad, running the hose line under the bridge or through the culvert is possible. You can also pull the hose line through the culvert with a rope pushing it through the piece of lumber, small diameter pipe. If there's no bridge, install the roadway crossing. Or, oh, sorry, if there's no bridge, install the roadway crossing guard to protect the hose line near for by, by bury an unprotected hose line in a railway bed. Whenever crossing a rail bed, you can either install the piece of a heavy wall pipe in shallow, shallow ditch under the rails or suspend a hose over the rail bed at suitable height as soon as possible. Replace the hose line at a railway crossing with a welded pipe because of the higher hazards caused by trains. Um, pumping station, a salt hose line pumping station to have one 350-gallon pump assembly. If you're um, using one hose line outfit placed in the pumping assembly at the beginning of the hose line system because the pump does not have the pressure regulating device, you must monitor at all times changing the hose line pressure. You may set up the pumping station. You connect the hose line outfits together. The formula, you can locate the pumping station on level ground motor gasoline hose line. If you protect the motor gasoline, the distance between the pump line system, give the formula change. For example, if you protect the heavier than motor gasoline, motor pump station should be closer. If if you protect your lighter than the motor, gasoline pump station should be farther than distance between the pump station given the form. And also change the height of the, of the terrain. For the example, if you pay a hose line on the upslope, um, slope, pumping station should be closer together. If you place the hose line downhill slope, then the pumping station should be farther apart. All right, hose line. Um, once you have set up the assault hose line, fill and pressure it. Check it out of the hose line for the checks and start the slap slow, uh, slowly. All right, hose line testing. Once you have set up the assault hose line, fill and pressurize it. Check the hose line. For leaks, start the pump slowly, raise it to full fluid pressure in the system gradually, increments of 50 psi. However, the pressure at each time, raise it, inspect the hose line for leaks. Keep doing this, include the 150 psi, even though the design bill burst pressure of the hose are higher, your test should not exceed the rate safety work pressure of 150 psi. The line pressure does not build up and slap the check line hose line for the wheat leak, and you can also use fixed leaks for the coupling fittings involved with the tightening, adjusting, and replacing gear. Let's get observe operation safety environmental interactions, immediately shut down operations, correct any problems detected. Part D, supervising evacuation and displacement of the hose, hose line. Re, um, remove the fuel vapor and air from the hose line, causing the hose line to collapse with the flat ribbon like with the fuel. Uh, this allows the most compact storage for the hose for the transportation the next to the site. The hose line is evacuated as flowers. Remove the bat ball from the ball receiver. Replace it with an airtight cap. Use the blank, blank cap with a groove coupling on the inlet and disconnect the compressor hose from the ball. Injector attach the suction connection to the air. Educator attach the com air compressor hose the inlet side of the educator um, adductor or set the pressure to 20 to 25 psi operate with the educa educator approximately 10 amount, ten minutes for the each uh, yeah, thousand feet of hose line when the hose is flattened as most possible fold it back tie it at night and remove the bowl injector and the educator when displacing the assault hose line pass the hose for the flacking box make, make um, pack the hose into the flacking box make successful folds from left to right using reach of the front make sure the bend is such so that the hose fit in the entire width of the box. Also make sure that the folds are packed tightly together so so that you can get a thousand feet of the hose into the box. If the temperature below is 40 degrees Fahrenheit, you may have to use a hose line packing kit to get the hose line in the flagging box. Part E, maintaining communication, communication breakdown, single non equipment related to item which can start in each of the domino effect capable of bringing the entire mission literally to a halt. Miscommunication mis 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 regarding the emergency shutoff of the assault hose line could 
Leave the fuel system supply point of the fair system without a source of fuel. The stranded dozens of aircraft vehicles miles of secondary source of fuel. Vulnerability of such vehicles is loss of these enemy cannot be overstated. Accurately timed communication with all the level of supply team commanded the headquarters in prayer of the success of any mission from requiring the fuel system supply point fair or assault O's line. Any efficient communication system is most an, an efficient communication system is must in operation maintenance of the military pipelines. Systems should must be um, separated continuous dependable the communication system must be high quality transmission take keep of errors and minimum enough channels or circuits to carry off the traffic loading efficiency product connections to avoid details immediately alternate systems so that there were any no interpretations in pipelines. All right, lesson five. Uh, directed for the assembly, operation of preventive maintenance check services, disassembly of the forward area of refueling equipment or fare. The unit ref refueling uh, operation of the theater operation usually carried out in individual aviation unit lightweight air transportable refueling system used for the unit level air present. The system authorized most units for the mission refuel aircraft with the forward air as a ref forward air refueling equipment of the fair system. The system can be set up with a skilled pair and personnel within 15 minutes of delivery to the site. The fair system is designed to um, refuel helicopters in forward air as in lightweight. And it can be thrown following the refueling aircraft point of the helicopter, uh, helicopter or fixed wing aircraft. The fueling system is usually flown to the side of the 500 gallon collapsible drum. The forward air refueling equipment system can also vary various sizes of collapsible tanks and vehicles and semi trailers as fuel service as fuel services. Pumping uh, assemblies, filter separators, valves, and fittings. Pumping assembly, the pumping assembly made up of a 100 gallon mil um, minute per central figure pump. The two cylinder, four cycle, three, hor three horsepower gasoline engine power uh, is the pump. The inlet and outlet connection, two inches in diameter. The pump has a priming port on the top of the pumping case. The pumping assembly engine fuel tanks are also housed in the tubular and aluminum frame. The filter separator, 100 gallon minute and per minute, is separated for the aluminum tank with the movable cover. The five filter, five filter elements for each of the candidates set in the mounting play near the bottom of the tank the filter separator has an air vent valve with a pressure differential that indicated the water site get last and water drain valve is turned by hand the flow rate of the filter separator is 100 gallon per minute at the top working pressure at a 75 psi the discharge hose suction hose the fitting of the fair system has two sets of discharge fittings of the nozzles each set is mounted in the tubular frame two canvas scaring sagacious for the suction hose and their fitting of the fire extinguishers are components of the fuel air area um Refueling equipment system, forward area refueling equipment system, provided with the extinguishing of the command with the responsibility the three, for three fire extinguishers are required for the fire system using an aircraft refueling system um, only to be within the reach of the problem operator, only one for the use of the nozzle. Recommended the fire extinguisher of the 20 pounds Halon 1211. No fuel source is provided as a component of the fire system, but generally a 500 gallon collapsible drum um, are used because they are they can be airlifted fuel to the fair point, but the fire system can also be adapted to large fuel with reservoirs nor drums or tanks as well as the type of the fuel to be um, used and determine the number of type of the aircraft and if your air point is and for support Part B planning. The fifty the S three aviation battalion operation officers of aviation company plan for the unit operation parts of these plans have easy choose of the general area of the refueling specifies the amount of the type of the refueling support needed for the pathfinder time. Teams must choose the site with enough of the ground to uh, for the aircraft to lift and uh, to land and lay out lift off the safely. The site must be flat and have only a slight grade when the planning of the go well, the layout of the fare system, the five factors must be considered. Spacing between the aircraft, the must, the, there must be at least um, 100 feet of space between the aircraft, the center of the rotor, and the center of rotor. Um, wind direction, the layout of the fare system, so that the hel helicopter can land, refuel, and take it off into the direct right headwind or left or right quartering headwind. Vapor collection, the system should be beat um, right angles to the wind of the helicopter landing and taking off, allowing the wind to carry the fuel vapors away from the site. The drainage, do not put the equipment in a place where the spill will drain into the stream or, water, or stream or river. Choose the part of the site with the firm enough to support the weight of the aircraft and the fuel drums. Camouflage, camouflage is the only protection at a fair point in a combat zone. Site features are depending upon them because the airlifting and the camouflage materials is not practicable. 
All right, site preparation. All sticks and stones and debris should be cleared and from the area to prevent the fire from clear of the dry grass leaves and brush away from the public assembly. In some cases, the engineer personally will prepare the site. Once all equipment is on the site, lay out of the fair system in the way that best in the specific situation, tailor out the lays out, avoid obstacles, take advantage of the terrain fa features, and achieve maximum dispersion, operate with a restricted amount of space. The only mandatory feature of the fair system, the space between the aircraft, the figure 5, one suggests the sequence set up as follows. Position, pump filter, separated ground. Ground pump filter separated the same. Bolt discharge hose assembled disposition. Dispensing points connecting the two 500 gallon collapsible drums. Position fire extinguisher. And Part C, quality surveillance. The quality surveillance, the quality and cleanness of the turbine fuel are the vital the safety turbine engine power powered aircraft. The turbine, uh, turbine engines have more stringent cleanliness requirements than the root re precipitating engines because of the turbine engines have high fuel consumption rates. Cons contaminations accumulate with the rapidly determined engine filters cannot be removed from fine sediment. Excess amounts of the sediment fuel of water of the f from fuel separating the contaminants of J5 and J8, JP8 is time consuming further than they complicated with the high viscosity of gravity in the unit organization military owned aviation fuel and physical position responsibility establishing maintain adequate quality surveillance program each position um, person involved with the aircraft for fueling and responsibility ensuring the fuel to pumped into the aircraft is clean bright uh, specification does not contain free and water or any free water or as sediment quality surveillance testing sampling are used to find the common contamination hazards the hazards may affect the aircraft sediment, water, biological growth, can take mingling, commingled fuel. So, uh, since each craft engine is designed to burn one particular type or grade of fuel, the consequences of using mixture of the different fuels can range from the special small variations in engine performance to total loss of power engine failure. The consequences of commingling depend on the physical properties of the fuel. Sampling and testing. How often the aviation fuels are sampled and tested, depending on several factors, depending upon whether the fuels of the fuel source system or fuel or aircraft tank of the fuel supplies must be tested on confirming the identities of the API gravity detected with the aqua glow test and the particular contaminants by color compare. Com com comparator rating Simpl um, samples of fuels depends to the aircraft should be contained with no more than 10 fibers when one quart of fi um, one quart sample is usually uh, visually examined. The aviation fuel contamination test kit is designed to provide a final check of the aviation fuel just before the fueling on the aircraft. It includes the API gravity test, the aqua glow test, a millipore test, a test of particular, particular contamination fuel in the aircraft must be checked by the by aircraft crew before flight operations begun with the type of the, taking a pre-flight sample is one way of ensuring the fuel on the board does not contain water or other visible contaminations. Any fuel that vi vi failed visual check should be segregated and held until laboratory tests may are received to check a fuel. Choose the cleaning sample bottle, draw a fresh sample, visually inspect it, test it in debris, form, matter, or water. Um, Laboratory testing ensures that the fuel's quality specifications, unknown products, existing potential contamination causes, identified unfavorable field test results, cor corroborated, and off specifications fuels are not used. Part D, maintaining communications. Communications and signal non-equipment related to that can be enabled to forward area of refueling equipment. Side two, the major fa factor of successful mission, the communication multiple level. Um, Unless the otherwise directed, you are responsible in for warming the chain of command of the following. When the site becomes oper becomes operational, when the site is shut down for any reason before scheduled shutdown time, reports on status of operation, any problem encountered is required in the unit policy procedure. When the site is shut down, it's indicated by the operational orders. And the site is shut down. Um, Part E, supervising operation of the fair. The fair system should primarily read the operation as soon as they are laid out. Um, the fuel system has been sampled. There should be at least three people in addition with the ATC pass Pathfinder presenting the during the refueling operation. At least two of the people should hold the MOS 77F. The, um, the proper procedure of refueling an aircraft are as follows. Land the aircraft, check to see if the armaments of the above the, uh, aboard the aircraft have been set to safe. D plane the crew passenger only pilot the remains of the aircraft. D fueling refueling if required. Crew members may assist the refueling manning by the fire extinguisher. Position of the fire extinguisher on the side of the aircraft for the fill port. Turn off the radios. The pilots may monitor the radio use in the air traffic control 
but must not transmit while actual refueling is taking place. The pilot and the chief of the crew may talk on the intercom during the refueling, ground and bound with the nozzle of the aircraft. It should never be attached to the radio antenna or to a propeller. Move the dust cap of the nozzle, remove the plug from the aircraft, fill the port, begin refueling. Can be certain to the observe the safety precautions associated with the closed circuit, open port refueling as the case may be. Replace the aircraft filter pl fill port plug, replace the nozzle caps and plugs, move the nozzle bond, carry the nozzle back to its hangar, move the fire extinguisher board the crews and passengers, direct the aircraft after you lift off. Additionally, you are required to monitor the fuel stock's accountability procedure rendering the status report as required in unit policy. If any leaking hazard conditions are found, the system should be shut down proper corrected before resuming the operation. All spills and must be cleaned up. The report is required in unit policies, procedures, applicable environmental laws, supposed contaminated fuels, materials, environmental safe way in accordance with the unit policy, procedure, applicable environmental laws. You must also ensure that during the and after the preventive maintenance check services are done, the DA Form 2404, DA Form 59 88E and um, equipment inspection maintenance worksheet is anointed with any of the false deficiencies found with the completed DA Form 2404 and DA Form 5988E is returned to the motor pool with the equipment. Part F, safety. Switching the fuel. Switching fuel means supply of the aircraft with the fuel with the flammability characteristic different from what's already in the tank. The flammability characteristic of the mixed fuel will be different from the two fuels involved with the danger. If it, that is sparked, should occur with the tank of the vapor. Vapor make sure mo above the fuel may be in the flammable range explosion could result the aircraft to be switched fuel. The rate of flow in the nozzle should not exceed 50% of the rate of flow changing the JP after the kerosene grade fuel also can, can constitute switching fuel. Heat, aircraft, vehicles, engine, powered equipment can generate the burning of the fuel to generate the static electricity between the friction between the moving parts of the engine. Heat of the idling aircraft turbine engine is an auto ignition range of the JP4. M poorly maintained vehicles, engines may backfire, discharge parts do not allow the work to be done on aircraft batteries while aircraft is being refueled. Aircraft radios operate with the same message during the refueling, but the radio transmission with the aircraft are not allowed to make because of the danger of arcing. Do not use flashlights for the 50 feet of refueling operation unless they are approved. The explosion proof type do not allow the electrical hand tools to be operated to be used in the refueling area. The electrical circuits to use um, of the tools of refueling operation must be maintained in the top condition to prevent shorting circuits around the defects. Any addition with the beam of the higher frequency radar equipment can ignite inflammable vapor and mixture. Open flame during the open flame that it was the, uh, that it was uh, during the danger of open flame is that it will ignite the flame fuel or flammable vapor. It makes sure it does not allow the type of the open flame any flame producing device within 50 feet of the aircraft for fueling operation. Static electricity. There are two ways to prevent static electricity from sparking the chains of different materials with equalized connecting with the conductor or bonding. Also, a way can provide with the charges to dissipate, dissipate with a harmlessly grounding. The armor uses both of these methods controlling static electricity, bonding, and process, which the two conductor objectives connected with lessening the potential differences. Bonding does not dissipate static electricity, it equalizes the charge of two unlike bo objects in aircraft and refueling nozzle. In order to produce the arcing of the, um, as the two objects are joined in the nozzle, two uh, aircraft bonding with the bonding is made with the nozzle cap dust cap on the fuel tank is removed and likewise do not disconnect or disconnect the bond until the refueling ad is complete the tank cap and the nozzle tap the nozzle dust cap are replaced. Grounding is the process of the conducting a path of the, uh, into the ground so that the static discharge is not trapped on the surface of the equipment. Whether the discharge is sparked with the conductive pad is made with the connecting of the conductive cable from the piece of the equipment with the conductive metal rod with the driven into either the reach of the level permanent moisture common source the static electricity are identified as follows vehicles, human body, and lightning. Air traffic control ATC. Uh, air traffic control ATC is required safe for fueling operation. Air traffic control is some of the other adequate training personnel is required at each of the refueling ports to serve more than one aircraft. The person controls and directs the refueling traffic and the resupply of the aircraft. It provides a flight of the personnel information such as wind, direction, velocity, remaining fuel supply, enemy activity in immediate with the areas and hazards, obstruction, landing of the emergency situation, airfield, air fuel, fuel radio, full radio um, communication equipment is provided with truck and rolling aircraft at the large that semi-permanent temporary refueling point with the radio control tower should be used whenever the aircraft are being refueled. In forward areas, the personal control air traffic should have the FM radio suitable to ground air and ground-to-ground -ground communication aircraft and marginal signals landing in the aids. This is super impermanent in forward refueling points. The marking landing and refueling point areas in the field procedural principles should be followed and closely, especially forward, forward tactical areas. 
Part G, environmental considerization. Maybe may pay close attention to during the fueling operation because of the potential spills and fires. Take pe simple precautions. You prevent large pollution problems during the refilling. You can protect the environment during the following. Compliance with the following. You own the unit standing operation procedure concerning the type of the quantities of the items you can store at the fuel point. Prevention and reduce the amount of soil contaminated during the refueling by the carefully not spilling the fuel. Reuse rags and um, absorbent materials. Recycle the contaminated petroleum oil lubricated products. Conservation. Dispose of the contaminated soil observation to recording the insulation unit policy and the unit standard operation procedure. And once again, that was um, um, direct class 3 pipelines, Army Institute of Professional Development, subcourse 5095A. And thanks for listening.